Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. There are a ton of Christmas movies out there. Real Christmas movies, not uh, movies that people don't think of when they think of Christmas. You know, like Die Hard and The Ref. But movies that really evoke, uh, for a large number of people, the whole uh, Christmas spirit. And one of those, another, another older movie, not completely classic, but a modern classic, uh, came out in 1988, and it stars Bill Murray as the lead in a Richard Donner film called Scrooged. Now, if you haven't seen Scrooged, it's basically a yeah, modernized, for 1988, retelling of uh, Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol. Uh, we've got the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future in there. We've got the whole setup uh, of the nasty guy, that's Bill Murray's character, and uh, discovering, you know, what it means to actually care about people. The difference, of course, uh, this is a fantastic comedy. Uh, it's got Bill Murray in it being his Bill Murrayist at the time. Uh, he, he's gone in some really weird directions over his career, and this is when he was still solidly uh, the funny guy, uh, and not that weird guy that's kind of funny, but I'm not really sure what to make of him sometimes. Uh, so this is uh, distinctly Bill Murray in comedy mode, completely over the top in, in some areas. He plays a television executive who is producing a live version of A Christmas Carol on Christmas Eve, which takes all of the actors, all of the crew, everyone away from their families, uh, and he doesn't see a problem with this. Which is when the ghosts start coming into play. And the way that things play out. If you haven't seen it, uh, it's got uh, Carol Kane as the uh, ghost of Christmas present. She is absolutely hilarious. The slapstick comedy between her and Bill Murray. Uh, you can't touch it. it. It's so well choreographed, so well done, so well timed that you're just rolling around laughing the entire time and you have to go back and rewatch it so you can get more of the jokes. And the ghost of Christmas Future, the, the, the death figure, is probably one of the more absolutely terrifying renditions of that character I've ever seen done. Uh, and because uh, this is done in the context of a television executive, it involves television screens and, and channel static and, and sound design that is just really kind of super creepy, especially when shoved into the middle of all of this crazy comedy that goes on. It's really a fantastic counterpoint that really uh, nails th that moment of realization that moment of humanity, that moment where you can tell the character is really, really coming to terms with everything that he's ever done in his life that's hurt other people. And it's played very well because we all know Bill Murray is really a fantastic actor, not just a funny guy, not just a strange guy. He's got range and talent and depth, and it all comes through in that sequence. Uh, most of the rest of the time, it's, yeah, just a lot of funny and everything along those lines. But the cast, uh, as a whole, plays well off of his, his physical comedy, his, his odd delivery at times, the uneasiness that creeps in with this particular character when he's around other people. People who want to like him or feel obligated to like him because of his position of power. But ultimately, he's kind of a dick, and that's a big part of the joke, and it plays very well, and the, the turnaround that goes on, because there's, everyone knows how a Christmas Carol goes. Scrooge wakes up in the morning, realizes he still has time, and decides to make good uh, 
with everyone and his life and becomes a good person. In Scrooge, it's exactly the same thing, except we're still in the context of a live show going on. Which means the movie ends, and I saw this in theaters, and it was really impressive. Uh, the movie ends with the entire cast talking to the audience in the movie theater, completely breaking that fourth wall. And the theater, the audience, this is one of those movies where people were laughing and applauding and just living it up at the end of the movie. Uh, and the, the whole musical number at the end, the put a little love in your heart number, the whole movie is worth it just for that, if nothing else. Especially if you saw it when this movie first came out back in 88, in an audience that had no idea what they were in for. Because this is still before you had all the spoilers and all the year-long lead-up to movies that we have now. So you knew the movie was coming out a couple months in advance, you knew who was in it, but you didn't really know what to expect outside of what reviewers told you a couple of days before the movie came out to the public. So if you haven't seen Scrooge, add it to your list right now, watch it before Christmas, and then share it with your family and everyone you know. It is one of the best Christmas movies I've ever seen. It takes the classic story in a fantastic direction, pays homage to a lot of the other tellings of it, adds in a lot of quirkiness of its own, uh, and it's just really, really funny and heartwarming. It's got heart, just like National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation has heart. That's a huge recommendation. Uh, watch Scrooge. Watch it now. If you've seen it and you love this movie as much as, uh, as I do, uh, leave me a comment down below. If for some reason you hate this movie, let me know how that works, because I don't think I've ever really met anyone who despises this movie and i'd be curious as to why now if you just hate bill murray that doesn't really count that doesn't count tell me why the movie itself isn't any good if you like the stuff i talk about give me a thumbs up down there if you uh, are subscribed thank you for being subscribed and if you're not subscribe so you can get more notifications of stuff like this uh, as they come out and if you know anyone else who's interested in the stuff that I do, share this video with them. Share one of my other videos with them. And uh, give them a chance to come into the conversation. I'm Kier. That's it for today. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.